So we've got a car with a mass of 1,500 kilograms. So what do I know? I know a mass equals 1,500 kilograms. It can provide the gravel, the maximum friction force that tires can provide. So F equals 7,000 newtons. The car, B1, is moving at 19 meters per second. And it's talking about when the car can stop safely. So V2 will be 0 meters per second. It says, find the shortest distance, or distance, I'm going to call that x. We're trying to solve that problem. So what, do we, what can we do here? The first thing I did is I want to solve for the acceleration. Since you recall, um, f over m equals a, Newton's second law, I can plug in and say 7,000 divided by m, 1,500 and I get an acceleration of 4.67 meters per second squared. Now, technically, that's negative because you are needing to stop right, your car. Now that I know that, the question is how far will it have traveled? Then we plug it into the kinematics equations. The equation you want to use is V2 squared, final velocity, equals V1 squared plus 2 times the acceleration, times the change in the x. Now, this is what we're solving for. So v2 is, as I said, 0 squared equals v1 squared, 19 squared plus 2 times negative 4.67. That's why we had to do this part first, times delta x. And then what you'll do is you set this out, you subtract uh, 19 squared from both sides or whatever. You solve this problem mathematically. I'm not going to go out, but you know how to do that. And I get delta x to be 38 meters, given this set of variables. Houston, we've got a problem.